Welcome to this series of hands-on tutorials from the SAP HANA Academy. I'm Philip Muggleston. In this series, we're covering DevOps for SAP Business Technology Platform extension applications. In this video tutorial, we're going to see how we can set up alert notifications. So for example, when we start and finish an import to one of our nodes, QA or prod, we want to have an alert that will actually send a message to a Slack channel, or it could send an email, whatever we want. And we're going to use the alert notification service in the business technology platform to allow us to do that. And it will integrate with our cloud transport management system. So to get started on that, we'll need to go to our uh, BTP cockpit. I'm going to go to my development sub account and we'll see the instances and subscriptions that we've already got. So what we're going to do now is actually create a service instance of the alert notifications. So let's hit create. And then the service we're going to want is alert notification and we'll choose the plan and we're going to use the standard plan which is for an instance it will create a service instance so it will do that in our cloud foundry organization and space and we give it a name i'll call it alert and we'll hit create and then we'll see that we've got a new service instance which is the alert service It'll take a couple of seconds to initialize once that's done we're going to create a service key so that we can access it so to do that we're going to click on that service instance, choose service keys and create. And then I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it alert-sk, but call it whatever you want and hit create. Now, once it's created, we can click on the three little dots and then choose view. Now we've got information here. We've got URL, client ID, secret and a no auth URL. What we're going to need to do is specify these in a destination with a very specific name in the cloud technology platform. So actually what I'll just do here so I'm going to open up a new tab when I'm accessing my dev sub account. So just go back and review the information here. So I've got a new tab. I'm now going to go to my connectivity and destinations section. I'm going to create a new destination. Now the destination has to have a very specific name. It's called alert underscore notification underscore service. Make sure you use exactly that name. And then we need to put in the URL and we're going to need to put in the authentication, which will be OAuth to client credentials. And we'll need the client ID secret and the token URL. And guess what? We've got all of that information exactly here in the service key we just created. So I'm going to copy and paste the URL. And I'm going to copy and paste the client ID. Make sure you copy just the value between the double quotes, but not the double quotes themselves. Same thing for the client secret. And finally, the token service URL. And once you've got all of that information put in, you should just be able to go ahead and save that destination. So our destination has been configured. The next thing we need to do is to actually go and look and see what events we can actually work with when we're using the alert notification service. For that, we can just pop it into the help portal and go to the alert notification service for BTP. And if we scroll down, we should find there's a section which allows us to see service events. And there are a lot of built in events that you can access different things that happen in business technology platform. And one of them is working with the cloud transport management. So if we look at that, we can see we've got a couple. We've actually got import started and import finished. So here we can see the technical details. Basically, when the event type is TMS import started, and I believe that is case sensitive, then we can have that trigger and alert. So I'm going to copy that value. And now I'm going to go into the alerts instance. So let's just close that. Go back to our alert. Notice we can click here on the URL. Maybe it's a bit clearer. I'm going to click on the main part of my uh, service instance called alert, and it will basically launch the alert uh, UI. I can create something called a subscription. So let's go ahead and create a new subscription. So let's create, give it a name. I'll call it maybe TMS import. We're going to do started and finished. So you can put in any other information you want to put in there. Let's hit create. Then we need to create the conditions for when will this alert actually happen. So we'll create a condition which we will call TMS import started. And basically the condition will be when the event type, so event type is equal to 
and it's that value to MS import started. So we'll create that and we'll set a second condition which is very similar. This time let's go back to our documentation it's going to be the TMS import finished so it's very similar this time the event type will be this value so let's go ahead and paste that in as our name of course the name could be whatever you want what matters here is the condition where it's going to be the event type is equal to and then this is the value TMS import finished and I'll hit create so now I've set up a couple of conditions I need to make sure they're both selected they should be by default and then I can choose to assign them so I'll press assign and now I'm going to create an action what is it that I actually want to go ahead and do so I'm going to hit create action now there are a whole host of different actions that you can choose from you can have it send an email uh, you can have it work with Microsoft Teams etc what I'm going to do is work with Slack so I'm going to choose to send a message to a specific Slack channel so I'm going to click here to select Slack and go next so I can say for example send to Slack as the name of this action and then I need to specify because it's Slack a specific URL address basically a Slack webhook so this is where you'll need to go into Slack actually create if needed a webhook and paste the value in here so let's go ahead and do that now we can do that by going into the Slack API so api.slack.com you need to make sure you've logged in and then you would go to manage your apps so let's select that and you'd either have or you need to create an app so I'm going to create my app I'm going to do it from scratch I'll give it a name well our app's called app so let's call it app and select a workspace that you're going to use so that's my workspace and create the app then we need to go to the option which is incoming webhooks and we'll choose to activate incoming webhooks for this application and if we scroll down we'll see we can add a new webhook URL to this workspace so let's add one and it's going to say what channel do you want it to post to when you use this webhook so we'll choose a channel in my case I'll go with the general channel that I've got for that workspace I'll choose allow so now it's been configured and we can see we've got a webhook URL and I can copy that value and then I can go back into my definition of my alert and I can paste in that webhook URL and I can hit create so we've now set that action up sending to slack now we can finalize this by clicking assign and we'll see we've got our overall subscription that's now been created so basically whenever a uh, TMS import starts or finishes we're going to actually send a message to slack now we can actually just open up slack here and see what's up there at the moment well, we can see that we've just added the app to this channel but otherwise the general channel is looking pretty empty so what we could do then is think about how we might want to actually see these alerts well what we need to do is maybe make a change in our application but before we do that there's one other bit of configuration we need to do we need to go back to the uh, cloud transport management and for each of our nodes where we want to have alerts we can select to edit them and we need to come in and say perform notification now this option wasn't there before because we hadn't actually configured the uh, destination for the alert notification service but once it's there you get the option to say perform notification and we'll save that I'm going to do the same thing on my prod node I'm going to have perform notification as well say OK and now I may be ready to go ahead and make a change in my application so we'll go to our development environment so I'm going to make sure that I stage my changes then I'll make a commit with a message and then I'm going to push and that will now launch a new continuous integration delivery and when that's finished we should be able to then do an import and hopefully we'll get our alerts so let's just wait for the uh, CI CD process to finish so we can see that the build has now completed so if we go to the cloud transport management and we'll just refresh that we can see that we've got a new initial in the QA uh, so let's go ahead and just have a quick look at the import queue and now we can see we've got a new initial one at the bottom of our import queue the git commit ID should correspond 5755 if we have a look that corresponds with what we've got from that latest build so we want to import that one so let's go ahead select it and choose import selected 
and click OK. And now we get a message sent, a notification is sent to Slack. And if we look at it, we can see that we've got a message. This is default, of course you can customize what it looks like, but we've got a message basically been sent to Slack saying import has started in the QA node. And we'll get another message when it's finished. So let's just wait for that. And now we can see we get a new message in Slack. We can see we've got the TMS import finished event type. So the import is finished in our QA node. And we get the details in the event body. Now we've seen how we can use the alert notification service to actually send us alerts, in this case to Slack, but there are lots, of, lots and lots of other options you could be using so that when an import is started or finished within the uh, cloud transport management system, you can get an alert for that. And if we just want to confirm that it has in fact finished, we can go back here, we can go to landscape visualization, and indeed we can see that there are now two succeeded, so that one's finished. And if we look at the prod, we can now see there's a new one to potentially be imported there. So that's alert notifications. You can find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to be informed as soon as new video tutorials are published, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching.